Hello everyone. Welcome back to a lecture series of Gate in Data Science and AI. So in this video, we are going to discuss about upper relational calculus. Okay. So we have discussed about relational algebra in the previous few lectures of DBMS. So you can watch those lectures. Now in this lecture, we are going to discuss about TRC part. Okay. So what is tuple relation calculus? So TRC is a non-procedural query language, right? So what is non-procedural query language? It will give us the information only about what data we have to get, right? What data we have to get, right? What data to get. But how to get that data? There is no information about that. But in the case of procedural language, right? That is in the procedural language, right? Which is our relational algebra, right? Relational algebra is a procedural language. And the relation calculus is a non-procedural query language, right? So in the case of relational algebra, we'll know what data to get, right? And how to get that data, right? How to get that data, right? So this is what procedural will be, right? So what happens in the case of TRC? So TRC is the syntax like this. So this is how we represent the TRC expression. So in, inside the curly braces, there is T vertical slash and predicate p of t where t is the resulting tuple resulting tuple means output of a particular uh, table then and p of t is a basically a predicate right so if this is true then only this particular tuples will be projected based on this particular condition or you can say whatever the predicate is mentioned here right so this predicate make consist of various or operator and operator not operator also right so in the case of relational algebra, we have discussed this like in relational algebra also we use OR operator and operator and not operator. But in the case of TRC, we have two more operators or we can say quantifiers. So the first one is there exist, right? This is there exist. So this is basically there exist, right? There exists and this is basically for all. Okay, for all. So this is basically based on predicate logic, right? Predicate logic. So we are already discussing propositional logic and predicate logic in our AI course. So you can watch those videos also. It will be helpful for you to understand this type of notations. Because in that we have discussed in detail about predicate and propositional logic in AI course. Right. Now what is existential quantifier. Right. So there this is symbol. Right. So how to read this particular expression. So there exists a tuple T. There exists a tuple T in a relation R such that this q of t is true right so this there exists a tuple t which belongs to r means in a relation r such that predicate q of t is true right now what about this now this indicates for all so how to read this particular expression q of t is true for all tuples in a relation for all tuples in a relation q of t is true like for all the tuples in a relation r q of t is true right q of t is basically any conditional or you can say so q of t you can say any conditional right so we'll discuss with the help of an example don't worry but suppose this is my trc expression from this to this right so how to read this particular trc expression and what i will get from it okay so here you can see there is a tuple p it is not necessary that we have to use t only we can use any variable here so for a tuple p there exists as belongs to students so s stand for students right and s dot cgpa greater than 8 it means in my students table cgpa is the particular column name and we are applying the condition that cgpa must be greater than 8 right so this is about the condition and what we are going to project like what we are going to uh, fetch this particular p dot name equals to s dot name and p dot h equals to s dot h so whenever you see such type of expression p dot name or p dot h where p is basically this tuple variable right so it, it can be it can be t it can be a it can be anything but whenever you see a t dot name or t dot h it means we are projecting or we are selecting this particular column from the table so it will return the name and age of a student with cgpa above it right so this, so this is the particular trc expression for this a uh, name and student to get the name and age of a student with cgpa above it right so don't worry we'll discuss with the help of examples now let us say this is my student table right this is my student table right so we are general expression is t vertical slash this predicate q of t will be true right this is what the trc is right now what i am saying 
फॉर अ टपल टी राइट फॉर अ टपल टी वर्टिकल स्लैश दे आर एग्जिस्ट एस विच बिलोंग्स टू स्टूडेंट दे आर एग्जिस्ट एस विच बिलोंग टू स्टूडेंट राइट इन द ब्रैकेट सच दैट आई वॉन्ट एस डॉट एज ग्रेटर देन ट्वेंटी वन एंड टी डॉट नेम इज इक्वल टू वॉट एस डॉट नेम राइट सो वॉट आई विल गेट फ्रॉम हियर आई विल गेट द टी डॉट नेम इक्वल टू एस डॉट नेम मीन्स फॉर फॉर अ पर्टिक्युलर टपल टी आई वॉन्ट टी डॉट नेम इक्वल सच दैट दिस इक्वल टू एस डॉट नेम सो इट मीन्स दैट आई विल गेट अ नेम कॉलम हियर राइट आई विल गेट अ नेम कॉलम हियर बट how like what what are the values here in this case so there exists s which belong to student such that this condition is satisfied that is s dot h greater than 21 now if you see s dot h greater than 21 ravi raj shubham rajesh right so this four will be the now output that is ravi raj shubham right rajesh so this will be the output of this particular tic expression right now there are different ways of writing a trc this is one of the way of writing trc or or, or what i can say for a tuple t now there exists t which belongs to student right now t itself belongs to student right and there exists t only right then i can directly say t dot h greater than 21 right here this specific condition and here we are projecting t dot name right so that is name we want to project but here already t belong to student so what i can say instead of t here i can also mention i can also mention t dot name means it will be like this t dot name okay there exists t which belongs to student such that t dot h greater than 21 this is also a correct trc expression right so both there are two ways of writing trc expression either we can write, either we can write like this for because for a, we are just saying any for any tuple t there exists s yes, right but here we are saying for a tuple t which belong to student right then we are applying the condition okay so if we are using like this so here we specify what are the attribute we are going to project and this is our condition okay but here we have to specify which attribute we want to project right now suppose i want to project name and course right in that case what i will do so for a tuple t okay there exist s belongs to student right student such that same condition i want to apply s dot h greater than 21 but now i want to project instead of name i want to project name and this course so how to project that Simply just specify and operator, then mention s, then mention t dot name equals to s dot name means it will project the name right. Whatever we have done here, same thing. But also I want course. So one more condition that is and t dot course must be equals to s dot course right. So in this way I will get s name and course of a student whose age is greater than twenty one. This is also my equivalent TRC query. so i hope you understand this particular concept of trc uh, nothing in it just you have to uh, remember this particular syntax okay yeah so here one more thing is that here we don't need to mention there exists because we already you uh, t belongs to student we are using same t here right so we, even if we skip this part that is also fine right or also we can say there is uh, one more uh, thing we can write for example t dot name okay vertical slash now student in bracket i can mention t right in student i can in bracket i can mention t and then i can say okay and t dot h greater than 21 this is also a trc expression okay this is also a trc expression because here we are saying student that is belongs to t so t stand for student we are projecting a name from a particular column and here t dot h greater than 21 right so this all three are the uh, trc expression uh, uh, to write a particular query right okay now let us try to discuss few examples okay so this is same question what we had discussed in case of relation algebra but we'll try to uh, write a equivalent trc expression here right following trc expression now here what we are getting 
by name and age of a student. So, I am projecting name and age of a student. That's it. So, how to write the equivalent TRS query for this relation algebra? Because such type of question you can expect in the exam, like write an equivalent TRS query for given relation algebra expression. So, relation algebra expression will be given to you. You have to write an equivalent TRS query for that. Now, what will be the equivalent TRS query for this? Okay, because here simply we are projecting name and age from the student table. That's it, right? But in the case of TRC, how to write the TRC form? So, curly braces, right? For a tuple T, right? So, there exists S which belongs to student, right? And we are simply projecting it, right? So, simply I can mention T dot name equals to S dot name, right? And T dot age equals to S dot age, right? That's it. That's it, right? Simply we are projecting name and age from a student table for which tuple T exists, right? The either way we can write it out in the second form is that, okay? For a, uh, like here just we are projecting T dot name from a T dot age, right? And now this T belongs to student table. That's it, right? That's the only TIC expression we can also write because we don't have any other condition. Right, or either way, we can write same thing t dot name, comma t dot age, right, or this student t, right, where t belongs to this particular student, right. So, these all are the correct way of writing a DIC expression, okay. Now, what about this a course? We are simply projecting the course here, right? So, same thing, okay, for a tuple t. Okay, there exists S which belongs to student. Okay, and T dot course equals to S dot course, right? So we are projecting a course here from a student table, right? Other way of writing a TIS equation is the first one, is the second one is so other ways writing of this T dot course. Okay, also that there uh, T belongs to student. That also we can say T belong to student. That's it, right? So I hope you understand how to write a particular TSA expression, right? It is simple. You just need to practice. Okay. So in general, what I can say, they will call curly braces. Vertical slash will be there. So here will be whatever we want to project. Okay. Whatever we want to project or whatever we want in the particular output that it will fetch, right? And here we have to mention the predicate. This will be a predicate, right? So predicate means this type of predicate. Like for there will be a table relation, this type. So there exists as belongs to student, and this particular condition will be there. Okay. If this is true, then it based on this, it will project the particular column. Okay. So that's it. We'll try to solve few examples. Now let's solve this particular question number five. We have to find out the TIC expression, right? Equivalent TIC expression here. So we have name and age, right? So we are projecting name and age. Our condition is age greater than 21 and course equals to DBMS. So what will the output? Age greater than 21 and course equals to DBMS. So this row is satisfied. Okay. What about this Raj 24 age greater than 21 but course is not DBMS. This will not fetch. What about this Shubham? Yes. Age greater than 21 and course DBMS. This is satisfied. Now all the three rows will not satisfy because our course is not DBMS, right? So this two will be in the output, these two rows. But how to write the equivalent TRC expression for this, right? So same thing, okay? So for a tuple T, there exists S which belongs to student, right? It is not necessary that you have to use T only. You can use A, B, C, any variable. Here also it is not necessary that you have to use S only. You can use A, B, C, D, any variable. But when you fix it that there exists S belongs to student, it means that S stands for students, right? Student, then in bracket we have to mention what, what is the condition? S dot H greater than 21 and S dot course equals to DBMS, right? So up till now we are here we have mentioned the condition so our condition is fine but what is remaining we have to project it also then how to project then one more thing and t dot name equals to s dot name right and t dot h equals to s dot h right 
So this is how we write a TRC expression, right? If we are given any relational algebra expression, you should be able to write it down in the TRC form. Okay. So all these things we have discussed up till now, it's just for only one table, that is student table. But what if there are more than one table or we need to join the tables? Then in that case, how to write the TRC expression? That we'll see now. Okay. Now suppose we have this uh, two table, that is student and enrollment, right? Now I want name of a, a student who belongs to mechanical department, right? So like I want name of a student, name of a student who belongs to mechanical department, okay? Mechanical department, right? So what will be the relational algebra expression first? So what will be the relational algebra expression first? So project, so what project we have to project? Name, right? So we have to project name and student who belongs to mechanical department. Means department must be mechanical. So I have to apply this condition on department uh, row, sorry, on column. But I want to project name here. It means I need to join the student and enrollment table. So in the relational algebra, we use this symbol for cross join and this is for natural join, right? So natural join will base uh, on the common attribute so here we don't have okay so here we have this roll number and roll number is a common attribute so what we can say inside the sigma operator department department equals to mechanical right right but in the bracket we need to join the table also so student natural join enrollment right so that will be a equivalent relational algebra expression. Now, what will be equivalent TRC expression for this particular statement? Right, because here we need to join two tables, right? So there exists a tuple T, like for a tuple T, right? So what I can say there exists S which belongs to student. Alright. Also, comma, and we can also mention there exists E which belongs to enrollment right so we have mentioned these two tables that there exists student belongs to there exists s belong to student and there exists e belong to enrollment now such that now we need to join these two tables because in the relation algebra we have this natural join symbol so automatically based on the common attribute it will join the tables but in the case of ts we don't have such symbols right so we need to specify the join so we need to specify the joining condition so here s dot roll number equals to e dot roll number right so i have joined the table now but what is my condition department must be mechanical so and and e dot department because department belongs to enrollment table so e dot department must be mechanical right so here i have joined the table up till now this particular point and here i applied the condition but what is remaining we want to project the name and how to project the name simply t dot name equals to from which table name student table student means s so equals to s dot name right so that will be my correct trc expression so if you want to join two tables or three tables just specify like this there exists s belong to student there exists e belong to enrollment or suppose we have one more table course, then you can mention there exists C belong to course. Then in the bracket, you have to mention the joining condition. Then after whatever the condition we want to apply, and after that, whatever you want to project. Okay. So this is how we can write a TRC expression. Right. So this order can change. Like first, you can mention whatever the project, uh, whatever the attribute you want to project or joining condition. That doesn't matter because we are using an operator here. But yeah, this is will be a uh, this will be a uh, structure for writing a TRC expression. Okay, so I hope you understand this particular concept. Try to solve more examples. Okay, so for this TRC and relation algebra and SQL part, I will suggest you to solve Raghu Rama Krishna, Raghu Rama Krishna book like DBMS, DBMS by Raghu Rama Krishna. This is a reference book. Very good number of questions are given in this particular book and you can expect the question directly from this uh, book itself because very good number of questions are there, okay, for TRC and uh, relation algebra and then SQL also. And for practice also, there are many questions to practice, right? So, please go through this Raghu Ramakrishna book, okay. 
uh, for this TSN relation algebra part. Okay, so it is available online, so you can just uh, go through it, right? So it will be very useful for you. Okay, so that's it from this particular lecture. Uh, in the next video, I will come up with previous year uh, get questions based on TRCN relational algebra. Okay, we'll try to solve that. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye bye.